Whoa. What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are reviewing the Solo from Dart Zone. And that's right, we finally have a Pro Jolt. And I'm pretty excited about this one. I think this is gonna be pretty liked in the community and I think there's gonna be a lot of things to do with this guy. Uh, people are gonna have some fun with it, I'm sure. So can't wait to crack this thing open and check it out. So let's go to the couch and see what this is all about. All right, you guys, so there really isn't a whole lot to go over on the box. I mean, obviously this thing is in a folded position and then it'll flip up to fire, but let's go ahead and crack this thing open and see what we got. Oh yeah. Ooh, comes with a lot of darts. All right, throw that over there. Got directions, of course. We got our blaster and gosh, 10 darts. That's pretty good. Go ahead and crack it out. We'll keep the darts in there for now, but those are, well, we'll pull one out. These are the new bamboo darts. They're a very light dart. Should work okay in this blaster probably, but not a huge fan of these compared to other darts on the market and even their other dart zone darts, but uh, they're just a little light, I find, especially at a high powered blasters. They don't fly as far or super accurately, but yeah, they probably work okay with this. This isn't gonna be the most powerful, obviously, pro blaster, but this will be probably the most powerful jolt we've seen. Uh, we will find out, at least unmodified. So this guy just flips up just like that and locks into place. Looks like there's a little lock here. This is a safety right here. And then obviously I think this is what, yeah. So it has a little lever there that will release it and put it back down. So there's a button here. I assume that's what, nope, that's, I'm not sure what that button does. I guess we have directions. We'll see what they say. All right, well, it says this is the barrel release button, but obviously I can just pull mine up without pushing that button, but I guess you were supposed to push this button to be able to pull it up there like that. That's the only thing I can think of, but at least on this model, you don't have to do that, which honestly, I don't really see a need for that button. Why can't you just pull it up? I don't know. Anyways, that's what that's supposed to do. This, th this uh, T-pole actually moves around, so maybe for, storage purposes that's kind of cool you can push that up there so you it's a little smaller profile there on the grip i guess so it's not sticking out i don't know but that is where you'll prime it from you'll pull down like that just like a jolt and we'll go ahead and load a dart in and see what this thing's got i bet it goes pretty far oh wait haha -ha. almost loaded it like a normal jolt that's not what you have to do on this this one you can load in the back which is definitely a plus that is cool so then you get the full length of that barrel and and uh, that should help you with performance and let of instead of just putting it in the front obviously but we'll see what we can get here whoa <laughs> that was pretty good I'm gonna shoot another one oh yeah pretty nice performance there cannot wait to put this thing over the chronograph but it's a good size it's not overly big it's actually i think perfect for an adult jolt <laughs> uh, because jolts are really too small to even use for me anyways it's really hard to hold them but yeah this is a nice size i like it a lot and it still should fit into you know a pocket a reasonable pocket obviously uh, probably not my jean pockets but not much fits in those <laughs> but yeah that's a it's a pretty good size i'd say uh what is that maybe four inches or so tall maybe three inches wide, four and a half inches tall or something like that. Not too bad. So there is a uh, Picatinny rail on top. So I guess you could put a sight up there if you want, but if you're moving this thing down and up, not sure how practical that is, you know, some sort of optic up there, but, uh, and I'm not sure this thing is probably not gonna be the most accurate because there's no really way to put a scar or anything on it and it's probably too short of a barrel to really utilize that properly anyway so there's not really a good need for it this is more for close quarters you know last last ditch or somebody that likes to run and shoot zombies up at close range when they only have to so uh 
I'm sure someone will use it that way, <laughs> but not my, not my style of play anymore, but let's go ahead and take this and put it over the chronograph and see what kind of performance we're getting. All right, we're gonna go ahead and shoot some of the bamboo darts that came with the blaster first over the chronograph, and then we'll try some Worker Gen 3 since that's what I usually use on the channel, so then you can kind of compare it to other blasters. That's why I kind of like to use the same dart in all my videos, but we'll try the darts that it came with, obviously, and then uh, do some Worker Gen 3, so see what we got. 129. That's just about perfect for HVZ right there. That's a nice number. 122. 124. 121. 122. One more bamboo. And then we'll move to the worker Gen 3s. One thirty-three, so that was the highest. But between one twenty and one thirty, pretty good, uh, pretty consistent, really. Let's try some Worker Gen threes, see if they perform better. They're definitely tighter fit in the barrel. That could help or hurt, depending. One sixteen. They're definitely heavier too, so they're probably going to shoot a lower FPS, but they may fly further. We'll see that in a little bit. 191, a little less consistent, at least that one was. Oh no, my darts. <laughs> it's a little breezy. We'll just wait for the breeze to stop. <laughs> Don't want my camera to fall over. All right, hopefully we're okay. I'm hoping. <laughs> 117, that was better. Now I gotta go track down some darts. Ugh. They all decided to hit the floor. Do a couple more. Maybe that. 91 was an outlier, we'll see. 122, it's a little less performance, not a whole lot, at least less FPS, I don't know about performance. Performance is gonna depend on if it shoots as far. 127, oh, that was, even, that was pretty good there, so not too bad at all. I think that 91 was an outlier, that was weird. 122. So I would say around 120, uh, we had 120, 127, but then we had a 91. The 91, I think, was an outlier. That was weird. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there, but nevertheless, pretty darn good performance. I'm pretty impressed with this. This is like perfect for HVZ for a backup blaster, or like I said, if you want to run it as your primary, well, that would be funny. Definitely know some people that would run this as a primary for HVZ, but it would be a really good backup blaster. That's what I would recommend it for. But Everybody's play style is different, so I uh, can't wait to see somebody somebody run this as a primary. I definitely know some people that would do that, but let's go ahead and put this over the range and see what kind of performance we're getting. All right, hopefully the wind is nice nice to us. We'll do five of each dart and see what kind of performance we get here. What kind of range? This should be pretty good. Oh yeah, that's nice, probably. 80 feet at least would be my guess. I'm, pro I'm really impressed with how consistent it is. The FPS and the ranges seem pretty consistent so far. So, yeah, that's pretty good. That one went a little further, it looked like. One more, I think this is five. Yeah, all right, workers. Definitely a tighter dart fit. Takes a little more pressure to put in there. Wait for the wind to die down a bit, all right. Solid. Looks like it might have gone just a touch further. Man, this thing is pretty impressive. This is, I mean, 
the design technology was there. We just had to make it a sealed breach system. I mean, that's, that's uh, nice that we finally did this. Thanks, Dart Zone. Wow, that one, were, that one, that was probably the furthest one yet. Oh, wow, I might, that might have been angled. That one went really far. I don't know, maybe where the wind took it. <laughs> that one was, that one was crazy. I might have had that one pointed a little high. I guess the video would tell me. <laughs> try, try again, one last one. There we go. Obviously there's human error in all this. I mean, we're outside with the wind and I don't have anything leveling my blaster, but those are nice, that's nice performance and very consistent. So we'll go ahead and take a look and I'll show you how consistent it was. All right, so we're at the fence. That's about 20 or so, 25 feet from where I'm shooting, but it is way out here. I mean, these went at least 80 feet, I would say. Maybe further, some of them further. So, whew, there we are. The first one that I see, so I'd say that's at least 75 feet, probably 80, close to 80, but some of them went further. So in that, that range, and that's one, two, three, four. So those are all very consistent. One right here, five. So like I said, oh, I'm not going to pick that one up. That one looks, uh, I think that one's staying there. <laughs> These went a little further. Uh, so yes, the uh, heavier dart, less FPS on average, but definitely longer ranges and also very consistent with uh, four of them being there. Oh, there's an old dart. We'll have to pick that one up. That one's been there for a minute. That's definitely an older one. The other dart went way over here. I'm not sure what happened with that. It caught the wind or something crazy. Uh, I'm not sure where it went, but over here somewhere. It definitely did something. It went very far and I don't know where it is. <laughs> well, that's great, great YouTube there. Uh, great television, but uh, nevertheless, very good performance, very impressive. This blaster is pretty sweet. Definitely pick one up. I mean, they uh, on sale right now is me shooting this for $9.99 on Walmart. Usually it's $14.99. I feel like $14.99 is a little high, but considering jolts are like over $10 now, which is insane to me, it's not too bad, I guess, if you compare it to that. And you get 10 darts, so that's pretty darn good. Great for a Christmas gift, great for people trying to get in to the pro, you know, half dart kind of realm. I mean, it's a very cheap blaster that you can kind of play around with. Uh, play around the house with even, which isn't really the case with a lot of the pro blasters. I mean, even this shoots a little hard for inside the house, but it should be okay. I mean, if you have enough area, but always wear eye pro with these pro blasters. This one doesn't come with it, most of them do, so definitely keep that in mind. But definitely a great blaster if you're already into the half length realm and into that pro realm, and definitely a great blaster if you're not. I think it'd be a great entry, so definitely check it out. It is in a Walmart exclusive. I'll put a link down in the description box to where you can find it. Uh, like I said, it should be $9.99 right as I'm shooting this video. Hopefully I get this out and it's still $9.99, but I don't, I don't, I can't guarantee that. I don't really know how long that sale is going to last. Anyways, pretty cool. That it's brand new blaster. And it's already on sale, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please smash that like button. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you're going to pick one up, let me know. And uh, as always, guys, peace out.